So here in 2022, is driving for Amazon Flex worth it? And I'll just give you a spoiler right off the bat. I don't intend on taking a lot of Flex shifts yet. Let me explain. Let's get into it. So founded in 2015, I myself first got activated in 2017. This is Amazon's last mile delivery service, of course, for their packages, envelopes, and the like. So Amazon will contract out workers like you and I using our personal vehicles to make these deliveries. So there's really two different options here delivering for Amazon Flex. Firstly, kind of the more traditional route, we have a scheduled delivery route. So I'll go into the Flex driver app and I'll schedule usually three hours or so and I'll deliver again packages, envelopes. Firstly, driving to the Amazon Flex warehouse, I'll get my packages, I'll scan them in to my vehicle and load them up, of course. And then at that time, I'll get my assigned route. And then, and only then, I'll know exactly where I'm delivering to. Now, there might also be an option to go online immediately to really take Prime Now delivery runs. Those are also package deliveries, but it's same day delivery. And then yet another option is a Whole Foods delivery option. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So one of the most important things when we're considering really any gig app work is, of course, the pay. So we can see here from Amazon Flex, you'll get paid $15 to $19 per hour. Now, having done this in San Diego, California, now I've done this here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I kind of regularly see $20 plus an hour, but there's certainly a few things that go into that. So for example, check out this recent shift here. This was here in Pittsburgh, and this says 21 stops for my three-hour route. Now, keep in mind when scheduling a delivery route, just the regular package deliveries, and this does pertain to any marketplace, so listen to this. For this example, it says a three hour route, but consider some of that is loading the packages at the actual warehouse. It's not three hours of completed delivery times. So in this example, I got paid $54 for that three hour route or $18 per hour. So that $18 an hour, and when it comes to your pay, specifically when it comes to tips, some routes, and this is a big thing on Amazon Flex and not really other apps have, some runs are not eligible for tips like this, these standard package delivery runs, versus if I did those Whole Foods grocery delivery runs, those ones are eligible for tips. So we saw $15 to $19 an hour at a minimum on runs that you don't get tips. So what influences any higher pay, maybe on the higher end of that $19 or even $20, $24 an hour, can you make more money there? And the answer is yes. If you sign up for a shift, generally from what I've seen in those different marketplaces, and Flex needs drivers, and it's really closer to that shift start time, then in my experience, let me know down below in the comments if you've seen the same thing, then you might see some incentive pay. So instead of getting you know, what I got, $18 an hour because I signed up maybe the day prior for this shift, if the shift is starting within 30 minutes, 45 minutes, then you might see $19.22, right? $24 an hour. So knowing that some of these runs, you can't get tips, as in these traditional warehouse package delivery runs. I wanna to talk to you about the pros and cons of that set pay, because there's a lot that goes through my mind thinking, all right, do I want to take even a flex run? So for this, let's turn to an Amazon spokesperson to see what they had to say in this insider article. And the spokesperson said, Amazon flex delivery partners across the US have competitive earnings that exceed $26 per scheduled hour on average. Now, from my personal experience, again, we saw a minimum 15 or 19 an hour here. So how are drivers averaging $26 an hour? Again, like we mentioned, the supply and demand of signing up for a shift closer to that start time, that's how you're gonna get the higher pay. And really, and or is if the marketplace, and again, this is my experience. Let me know down below in the comments if you've seen this. But if there's a lot of shifts and they're just not getting taken by drivers, that, that may also contribute to higher pay that said, hey, I mean, this shift isn't even starting for another maybe day, right? It's not even close to the start time, yet it is paying more 
just because, I mean, for that marketplace, that shift might just be left open. So we'll just assume that's the case. All right, let's just assume $26 per scheduled hour based on what that spokesperson said, which again is pretty good here. Well, what are some cons of the predicted, I guess, the scheduled pay here? So again, my shift, the one that I did was 18 an hour. We saw a variation of 15 to 19. Now, I want to ask you, can you make more money either faster, easier, with less efforts on a different app? That is the big question because honestly, I'm a little skeptical of an averaging of $26 per scheduled hour, at least all the time. And if that's the case, great. Again, let us know down below. But I want you to be smart of looking at the payouts and asking and answering that question yourself. Can I make, again, more money and can I do it faster and or easier on a different app or a different niche? So now, having said that, I want to talk to you about maybe one of the best opportunities right now on Amazon Flex. Now, this is the Whole Foods delivery runs. So a little bit different here. So here's what it's going to look like in the offers window. That just means, hey, you know, shifts that are available. So from what I've seen on Whole Foods runs versus the warehouse runs, generally you might see shorter shifts with less stops and maybe even equal or higher pay. So the way this is going to work is you sign up for a Whole Foods delivery shift. And of course, we're going to go to the Whole Foods and we're going to deliver groceries, of course, to our customers. So this is similar to shifts, but it's a little bit different. There's no shopping included, which is fantastic because you don't need to go into the Whole Foods and, I mean, frankly, waste your time going in there shopping for 50, 60, 70 items. They're already pre-pulled for you, which is great. Now, Shipped does have something like that. It's called Delivery Only Runs, and I am a fan of that. But turn our attention back to Amazon Flex here. Again, this could be less work. We're not going to the warehouse, scanning what? Again, 40, 50, 60 packages in your vehicle. It's pre-pulled. Now, you do got to go in. You do got to at least pull the items off the racks or pre-sorted into bags, but you got to go in, you know, take the bags, load them into your vehicle. But traditionally, again, these are going to be less stops. So we see here a one hour shift is offering $26 already at the top end of what we're looking for on Amazon Flex. So the next one, one and a half hours of a shift, which also equates to $26 an hour. Now, what is the thing? What's the reason why it's offering $26 an hour? It is the same thing that I mentioned prior. These shifts were really starting in about 20 minutes, in 30 minutes. So we're seeing the higher pay because of that. Versus, look at the third option here. So this one is a two-hour shift. It's for the next morning. Now, this one is only offering $15 per hour. But here's the thing. Here is the huge caveat. Pay attention to this versus those warehouse runs. Remember that the Whole Foods runs are eligible for tips and seeing what you are team members and just other drivers are saying. And from my experience, I mean, doing shipped and Instacart, which is similar, right? It's grocery delivery services. The tips have been very good on these Whole Foods runs. That might be the biggest opportunity in 2022 on Flex. But just in general, I will tell you there's some very real pros and cons of the general platform that you need to consider. Okay, some pros of Amazon Flex. Number one, the predictable pay. So that is a huge standout, in my opinion, versus other apps. With other apps, I go out there and drive for, let's say, Grubhub or Uber Eats. I mean, if you do DoorDash, if you even do Rideshare, usually there's no guarantee of pay. Of course, if they're offering a bonus, there might be, but I mean, standard driving is not going to be as predictable. Another pro, it's relatively straightforward, relatively easy. Now, I say that's, you know, easy for doing package delivery. Do know you're going to have, you know, like I had 21 stops on a three hour route. That's just one example. And you should be able to lift, I'd say, 30 pounds or so if you do have heavier items. So to kind of bring this full circle, some of the cons, the critiques here 
And again, why I'm just not taking any shifts on flex right now. Number one, kind of conversely, I say it's a labor intensive. Remember, it's relatively straightforward and pretty easy. But I mean, if you're going to be doing a shift every day or doubling up on shifts with the 21 plus stops, I mean, that's just a three hour shift. You can do longer shifts. It can be labor intensive compared to other apps, which aren't as much physical labor. And for sure, I saved this for last. My biggest critique of Amazon Flex right now specifically is, in my opinion, it is harder right now when the days are shorter. So at the time of filming this video, if you're doing this in the winter, the late fall, whenever, when the days are shorter and you're going to be taking these shifts in the late afternoon or the evening, I mean, trying to deliver 40, 50, 60 packages, 20, 30 plus stops at night. I mean, you might, again, you might be able to make more money easier on a different niche. And, or if you're doing this in poor weather, so, I mean, you could even double that up if it's at night, if it's poor weather. Again, I want you to make as much money as possible doing the smartest gig. So consider that. I mean, if you're driving during the day or in an area, a marketplace that doesn't have bad weather, it's fine. Or if you're just comfortable delivering at night, that's fine. But again, you might be able to do food delivery and just have to worry about three stops, let's say, per hour versus eight or nine. So having said all of that, here in 2022, let's answer the question, is driving, delivering for Amazon Flex worth it? My take on Amazon Flex is yes, it is worth it under these circumstances. For me, I want to be safe. I want you to be safe on the road. So delivering at night, I'm not a fan. If it's in bad weather, I mean, like right now here in January, it's snowing like crazy outside here in Pittsburgh versus those other apps that we talked about. So at the start of this video saying I'm not taking any flex shifts, that's true, but only right now. I mean, only in the winter time, my verdict is, yeah, it is still worth it as long as it makes sense to drive safely. So, I mean, come springtime, the summer, even in the fall, I have no problems driving on Amazon Flex for some of the positives that I talked about. And I think, I mean, we'll follow this, consider subscribing if you're not a part of the team here, following those big opportunities, hopefully, on Whole Foods this year. So yeah, I feel like it's good just to have in your back pocket, just not specifically kind of for the winter season. I think you can make more money more safely elsewhere, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you would drive the same way or if your marketplace doesn't have to worry about that, let us know down below. And if you did get value in this video, I would really appreciate if you drop a like on this video, it really helps us out here. And you can also click or tap screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.